Hi Genetics 311, my name is Val Perez and in this video I'm going to be going, going over a hypothetical example where throat cancer is one of the leading causes of death in a species of dragon and we're going to go through the genetic analysis and identify what genes are contributing to this cancer. Alright, so genetic analysis has identified that genes X, Y, and Z contribute to this cancer. So throat cancer has a family history of mutations and only gene X contributing to the susceptibility. Benign tumors are going to develop due to a mutation in both alleles of gene X, but gene Y and Z have only a wild type alleles. So a malignant tumor tends to have mutation in both alleles of gene X and mutations in one allele of gene Y, while the metastatic tumors tend to have mutations in both alleles of gene X, mutation in one allele of gene Y, and mutations in one allele of gene C. So we're going to go over how does the disruption of normal gene function leads to tumor progression. There's some terminology. So mutations in two types of normal genes can cause cancer development, tumor suppressor genes and proto-oncogenes. Tumor suppressor genes are going to prevent bad cells from dividing, so it tells the cells not to divide when they're not ready while proto-oncogenes are going to, going to allow good cells to divide and it tells the cells to proceed with replication. So a normal tumor suppressor gene is going to prevent the uncontrolled growth of cells. So it's going to stop the cell from undergoing the cell cycle. And when there is a mutation in both copies of the gene, it is going to result in the tumor and it is going to lose the cell cycle regulation essentially. So this is called a recessive mutation, meaning that both copies of the alleles must be mutated. It's so a normal proto-oncogene is going to promote cell division, but it must be activated to be regulated properly. A mutation in these genes results in an oncogene, which then results in an uncontrolled division of the cells. You only need one mutated copy of the proto-oncogene to get a tumor, so that means that it's a dominant mutation, so it shadow overshadows the other um, allele. Now let's go back to the scenario. For a benign tumor to develop, both copies of, the, of gene X must have a mutation. This indicates that gene X must be a tumor suppressor gene meaning that the mutation must be present in both copies of the gene. This results in no inhibition of the cell cycle, which leads to the development of a benign tumor. Lignant tumor to develop, both copies of gene X must have a mutation, and gene Y must have a mutation in one copy. This means that gene X is a tumor suppressor gene, while gene Y is a proto-oncogene. If one copy of the gene is mutated, it generates an oncogene, which then leads to uncontrolled cell growth, resulting in a malignant tumor. Lastly, for a metastatic tumor to develop, both copies of gene X must have a mutation. Gene Y must have a mutation in one copy, and gene Z must also have a mutation in one copy. This means that gene C must also be a proto-oncogene. If one copy of the gene is mutated, it generates an oncogene, which then leads to uncontrolled cell growth, resulting in a metastatic tumor. Alright, that concludes the end of my video. Thank you for watching.